Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about Google stock and should you buy Google stock before earnings on April 28th, guys. So Google stock, one of my favorite stocks uh, in general, simply because Google, it, uh, Google owns uh, the top two most traffic websites in the world, number one, Google, and of course, number two, Facebook. So guys, uh, the stock, you know, was beaten down pretty badly all the way down here to a thousand with around a thousand dollars at long-term support and the stock has been slowly trending up so let's talk a bit more about what's basically going to go on for google and earnings and they are definitely going to be impacted by the whole coronavirus epidemic as a lot of advertisers have slashed their advertising budgets so let's get right into it guys so i'm on yahoo finance here I want to talk a bit about what people are expecting for Google. So last quarter, they had a positive earnings of around 20%. And uh, for this quarter, their earnings estimate is, is pegged at around uh, $11.16 per share, basically a decline of 6%. So why are they projecting a decline? Well, simply because advertisers are spending less money on the Google Ads platform. So advertisers purchase ads, and with the whole coronavirus pandemic and a lot of businesses have gone under and things like that, there is definitely going to be a, a decrease in ad spend. So all of these stocks like Facebook, Twitter, Google, and Snap will all experience a, a downturn in Q1 and Q2 spending simply because that is one of the first things that companies have done. They slash their ad budgets. So of course, Google is in a great position long term. They have the two most dominant websites on earth. You know, they have a very uh, diversified business segment. They're working into driverless cars with their whole Waymo unit. And you know, they've been doing, of course, they've been doing Google Cloud. And it says right here, Google Cloud joint force with AT&T to integrate Ladder's G 5G network into its cloud offerings. So there's definitely a lot of nice things coming up. So of course, the short term, uh, problems for Google would obviously be the decrease in spending as well as stiff competition for their uh, their search based advertised business from Amazon and also Amazon and Microsoft Microsoft kind of lead Google in the whole cloud space so guys uh, you know those are basically some of the things that you would have to look into when it comes to Google stock in the short run but I think in the long run let's take a look so guys I always like to think long term when I'm buying stocks unless I'm trading short for short term movements so over the long run Google stock has done uh, you know really well and I want to show you guys uh, some compounded annual growth numbers in case you guys are wondering whether the stock will pop or not Okay, so I'm in Morningstar.com. You can simply find this information by going to Morningstar.com, typing in the ticker symbol G-O-O-G, and heading to trailing returns. So as you can see here, Google's basically done 17% trailing returns over the last five years, and that is including a lot of the sell-off that recently occurred due to the whole coronavirus sell-off. So what I think is in store for Google and uh, for earnings, I think long term, this is a great time to buy Google stock. You're basically getting it at a slight discount. So Okay, so if we take a closer look, we see that it's a ratio of around 26, just under a trillion dollar market cap. So I think this sell-off has definitely affected uh, Google stock quite a bit. And then I want to show you guys uh, some statistics. Okay, so as we look, basically, if you get any of you guys had any concerns about Google uh, coming into earnings, you know, over the long term, they've been doing really well, constantly increasing revenue and this company is a well-balanced company it's very very cash rich so if we take a look at the balance sheet here we can see that google has plenty of cash to weather this storm if they had experienced a short a downturn obviously uh in revenue so they're holding about a hundred billion in cash and and with only uh you know around three billion dollars in long-term debt so guys you know uh google you know very cash rich company uh should be just fine uh you know they've they've basically been uh you know preparing for times like this with their huge cash balance very few companies are holding over 100 billion in cash and as you can see here the retained earnings have been constantly going up year over year so no worries here with uh google stock even if they have a a, a of course they'll probably experience a decrease in earnings i think that 
this is still a great company long term. So where I would be where I would be opening personally is that uh, I would be a little cautious here because I think that you could pick up this stock a little bit cheaper. Uh, if Google misses their earnings, the stock is definitely going to go down. So this is definitely not one of the stocks that has benefited from the coronavirus. Uh, you want to basically target companies that are selling things like essentials, or if you're going to target a tech-like company, you want to target something like Netflix, that type of company. But these type of companies very dependent on ad budgets. Um, they're definitely going to be struggling in the short term. So I think you can get Google stock a little bit cheaper. And this is definitely one of the stocks you want to add to your long term portfolio because in like 2021 and 2022, uh, when this is behind, you know, Google stock is definitely looks like it's going to continue on its upward trajectory, which is uh, to, to basically $2,000 and beyond. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content and subscribe to my channel. I post more videos on Google and other stocks. I upload content every day, so be sure to subscribe to get more free videos. Thanks for watching, guys.